it was 20 years ago and I was an able body just like everybody else working and having fun playing, young athletic guy. And I went head first in the boards playing hockey and became paralyzed in the chest now. A damaged spinal cord ended Dave Wilsey's days playing recreational ice hockey. But during rehabilitation, he found a replacement just as fast, aggressive, and rough. It's got a colorful name, and it comes from Canada. Murder ball was invented right in Winnipeg uh, back in the 70s. It was a bunch of quadriplegics um, who were sitting on the end of the bench for basketball all the time, trying to compete with you know, paraplegics and, and amputees with a lot more function. So they just stuck around in the gym one day, and. Uh, kind of came up with this game and then at the same time they said well let's make it full contact. As gleefully as they bash their rugged wheelchairs together, murder ballers aren't allowed body contact. Teams of four move a ball around a court, scoring when they cross the opposite goal line. Each team has players with differing levels of limb function. Those who can move their arms the most try to score goals. Others with less movement, they just impede and ram their opponents. Personally, I've been playing the sport for four years, never had any serious injuries, been banged up a little bit here and there. You might get your hand pinched a little bit, but no concussions for me, so I've been fortunate so far, knock on wood. It's top-level athleticism with all the training and commitment of able-bodied sport, but it's also about inspiration. Players spend a lot of time meeting children, some of them young paraplegics, telling them they can still be part of something physical, competitive, and very special. Yesterday, you know, we went to the to a children's center with all disabled kids and uh, they were a little more disabled so all we did was sit in a circle and throw the ball around and bounce balls and, and have some fun that way. But they had huge smiles on and we'd kind of bump into each other. Canadians invented this sport and they've won a lot of medals over the years. Before a hometown crowd at the Para Pan Am Games, they'll be going for gold against the US, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia and Chile. Canada's confident. I think we're the hardest team to prepare for. Um, because we run so many different lineups, we have so much depth and so many strong players that you can't focus on one thing. Um, and you know you're going to get hit when you have the ball. One thing's guaranteed, it'll be a lively tournament. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, near London, Ontario.